This comes down to whether a mistake's too big to overcome. The issue surrounding the state objection panel, the district court, and now the Iowa Supreme Court is the timing of the Libertarian Party's county conventions. They held them the same day as their precinct caucuses, which is against state law. Alan Ostergrid, an attorney for the objector, said during the Supreme Court hearing that the candidate should remain off of the ballot. He says the rules are there for a reason and are to promote election integrity. Those rules seem harsh, but these rules and why strict compliance is necessary is they're like an insurance policy for the elections process. They're so that elections officials, when they have to make decisions on a quick timetable, know that there's regularity in the process. The objections against these candidates were filed by voters involved in Republican politics. Attorneys for the Libertarian Party said they had no right to file an objection to get them kicked off because they're not Libertarians and weren't harmed by the party's error. Those are the people that have the standing or the interest in making sure that those procedures were followed. There's no real interest on someone outside of the party and making sure that the party followed the process to ensure that that party nominated that candidate, in fact. Justice Edward Mansfield pushed back on the claim that the objectors weren't harmed. I think Mr. Ostergren's clients would prefer, obviously, that, you, that the libertarian candidates not be on the ballot because they think that is to their electoral benefit. And so that's an, that is an injury. County auditors asked for a final decision soon so they can start printing ballots. The justices said that they would make a ruling on this by midnight Wednesday. At the Iowa Capitol Bureau, I'm Connor Hendricks reporting.